Welcome to another Stardew Valley video. With the latest 1.5 update, we get a bunch of new special order quests that reward us with new items that are pretty useful. In this video, I will go over all of my favorite new items and how to get them. There are quite a few, so let's get started with the solar panel. You will get the recipe to craft the solar panel from Caroline's special order quest that tasks you with harvesting and selling either 100 taro root, ginger or pineapples within 28 days. It is quite easy to complete this quest if you already have a bunch of pineapples on your ginger island farm. To craft the solar panel, you will need 10 refined quartz, 5 iron bars and gold bars. And it's quite worth it. It will produce one battery pack after 7 sunny days. It is a reliable way to passively produce battery packs forever without waiting for thunderstorms. The Geode Crusher is another interesting one. To be honest with you, I don't really like it. But you can get the recipe to craft a Geode Crusher from Clint's special order request that tasks you with slaying either 50 bats, dust sprites, skeletons or grubs within 7 days. You can complete this quest in a single day by just focusing on dust sprites. To craft the Geode Crusher, you will need 2 gold bars, 50 stone and 1 diamond. The Geode Crusher will process 1 geode for you. It takes 1 in-game hour and 1 coal to process a geode. I guess it has its advantage of being at your farm, but Clint can open a geode instantly and it will only cost 25 gold per geode. 1 coal per geode is extremely expensive. Since you can buy coal from Clint, it costs 250 gold. The Geode Crusher just doesn't seem that good to me. The farm computer is a fun one. You can get the recipe to craft a farm computer from two bundles. Demetrius will ask you to catch 10 fish of each fish from a list depending on the season. Or he can task you with collecting 20 river fish, 20 ocean fish or 20 lake fish. You will only get a week to complete this quest so make sure to use bait so you can catch all of the fish you need. The farm computer is a little bit difficult to craft because it has a unique ingredient. It requires a dwarf gadget that is an artifact that you can only get from geodes or hoeing in the mines. You'll also need one battery pack and one refined quartz. The farm computer will give you a complete view of your entire farm including the crops that are ready, crops that are not watered and all kinds of useful information. I really like the farm computer. The sewing machine is also a fun one, especially for those of you who want to collect every single hat in the game. You can get a sewing machine from completing the special order request from Emily. You will simply need to bring her one of each type of rare jewel, one ruby, one topaz, one emerald, one jade and one amethyst. Luckily, she doesn't want a diamond. Emily will give you a sewing machine so you don't need to craft it. And with the sewing machine, you can make all kinds of clothing, like a ton of clothing. And you can also use it to craft a bunch of cool and cute hats, like a dinosaur hat and the extremely cute blobfish mask. There are a ton of hats and masks that I didn't even know existed. And as an added bonus, you can put hats on your horse and on urchins in your fish tanks. Yeah, you should do this special order request. It's just a little fun distraction. Now for my favorite item by far, the mini obelisk. The mini obelisk will allow you to teleport between two places on your farm. The best place to put these obelisks is to put one of them right at the entrance to your house and the other one right by your obelisks. That way you can easily teleport all over the world with your return scepter and obelisks. Very nice. You can get the recipe to make mini obelisks by completing the special order request for the wizard where he tasks you to find an ectoplasm. You can get it by defeating ghosts in the regular mines. The coffee maker is actually one of the first special order requests that I completed on my playthrough. You will have to forage and give 12 leaks to Evelyn. After you have completed the special order request, Evelyn will give you a coffee maker so you don't need to worry about crafting it. Once you have it, place it either in your kitchen or close to your bed because it will automatically make you a cup of coffee once per day. When you wake up, you can wake up properly with a cup of coffee ready to run around the world of Stardew Valley. This is a small little fun one that I really like. It kind of reminds me of my own daily routine. 
Next up is the mini fridge. Have you ever thought that your fridge in the kitchen is just too small? Well, that is where the mini fridge comes in. You can place it anywhere in your kitchen and it will effectively behave as another fridge. You can place ingredients in it and they will automatically be available when using your stove. The mini fridge is a reward for completing Gus's special order request that asks you to collect 24 eggs and place them in the fridge at the Star Drop Saloon. This was extremely easy easy for me to complete because I have 12 chickens. But you have 14 days to complete this, so there is plenty of time. The mini shipping bin is an interesting one and it's quite easy to get. You can get this as a reward from two special order requests. The easier one is Pierre's request. He asks you with harvesting 25 gold vegetables and then placing them in the bin at Pierre's store. This is quite easy to do. Don't forget to use fertilizer to increase the quality of your crops. The other request is Mayor Lewis's request that is also not too tough to do. You will have to plant, grow, harvest and sell 100 of a crop based on the season. To make your life much easier, plant like 50 crops of a regrowable crop. Then you won't have to replant the crop that will make life much easier. When you do finally get the mini shipping bin, you can place it anywhere you want on your farm. It behaves exactly the same as a normal shipping bin. You can place items in it and when you go to sleep, those items will be sold. But there is a catch. It only has 9 slots. 9 slots is extremely small, but it is what it is. Next up, fiber seeds. You can get fiber seeds by completing Linus's special order request. All you need to do is gather 20 trash items and then input them in the bin by the train. You can easily find trash items by fishing on your farm, checking garbage cans or by using crab pots. When you complete the request, Linus will teach you how to make fiber seeds. It costs 1 mixed seed, 5 sap and 1 clay to craft. Then you can simply plant it around your farm and in 7 days there will be fiber crops ready for harvesting. You can only harvest the fiber using a scythe. And lastly, Monster Musk. If you are not new to my channel, you know I love Monster Musk. It will allow more enemies to spawn in the Skull Cavern and in the regular mines. And it's just a lot of fun. You can get the recipe to craft Monster Musk by completing another wizard special order request. You will need to find a prismatic slime and bring some prismatic jelly to the wizard. I found it easier to just enter on floor 105 the whole time and found a prismatic slime pretty quickly. And those are most of the items that you can get from the special order requests. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting subscribe and as always, I will see you in the next video.